Hey guys, welcome to the part 2 of how to make a plugin. In this part, we'll look forward to, you know, how to create new variables and how to alias functions. So first of all, I've created a new blank, you know, project with defaulty things and named it tutorial. I've got, you know, my plugin name tutorial and uh, have some empty things. Now, here I've created a new function and some info. If you don't know how to create these, you can check out my first tutorial. Links in the description. So, let's start. Now, variables in JS are anything that stores a value. For example, for example, I'm gonna go to RPG scenes, copy this, our theme title, the prototype, the create background, you can, you know, control F, command F in whichever OS you are, and, uh, you know, search for the theme underscore title, the prototype, the create background. Now I'm gonna paste this. I like this, this fit, I'm pressing tab. And uh, you can see, like, I have title one name. This is a string. Now I don't want to store it like. Let's make it no more organized. So here I, you know, do like uh, var title one name. Whatever. I'm gonna name it title name one. I like that, but you know. Uh, equals a string which contains the value of data I believe it's yeah data system dot title one name so here we have got a string now let's replace this with title name one. Now save it. Make sure you've got this, you know, installed in command R or control R. Okay. You can see that the title one's created. Like, if you actually leave it empty, this is not gonna work, just, you know, prove. See, cannot read property parent of undefined. So, looks like we're done with variables. Now, let's move to aliasing. So, what is aliasing is basically, I'm going to create another variable, but this variable is actually a function. So, let me show you instead of, you know, talking boring stuff, var, I'm going to call it scene, title, underscore, create, bg, equals scene underscore title dot prototype dot create background and now just turn this into a comment wait okay let's just remove that variable and we are gonna say C style create pg dot call this and in this case this is scene title dot prototype dot create background meaning it'll go to the RPG scenes and call this function. Let me show you what it does. Save both the things, command R, and you can see it works. 
And now, if we just don't call this function, it's gonna crash. Yeah, can I say probably x of undefined? Looks like this was a short tutorial. So, here's the end. If you like the video, don't forget to like. And if you dislike, don't forget to dislike. You know, points of improvements.